big things are happening in our house this week. Super exciting big things. We are doing a makeover on our guest bathroom. Our little teeny guest bathroom that sits in the hallway right there that I probably never showed you in a single video. I don't know why I would show you. We're gonna give it a makeover. We have lived in this house for 20 years and we have never done anything to that bathroom, but it's time. Randy and I are not the handy construction type of people. We're just not, but we are gonna figure this out. Let me show you the bathroom and then I'll tell you what we're gonna do. So, you know, kitchen, y'all are familiar with this, but you head down this hall. You see Pollux under the dining room table. In this hallway, we have like a separate pantry and all of the kitchen things. And then this is our little utility room here. But there's the guest bath. Oh boy. The contractor, when they built this house, put in this little pedestal sink a toilet, it's a teeny weeny little room, and I'm tired of looking at it. Hi, look at that little dinky light. See, I'm just tired of the gold and the silver. I have nowhere to put toilet paper because it's a pedestal sink, so the toilet paper's out. We can't even have a trash can in here because there's nowhere to hide it. I am gonna keep our towel bar and, ooh, it's a little dusty. Our little toilet paper holder. And of course, the floor is stained. The floor, we put down all new floors in all of the space about, I don't know, probably 12 years ago. So the floor is stained. We're just gonna replace this, and this, and this. Pollux, are you gonna help us redo the bathroom, boo? What are you doing underneath there? You got a bone? You do? Oh, look here. This is the vanity we bought. It arrived yesterday and I am just beyond excited. Look at this. White top. The handles, they actually shipped it with the handles inside. We have to turn those around, but we actually get a cabinet and a drawer. I've got a new mirror coming, new lights and a new faucet. So this is gonna go in here. And that is our project this weekend. I'm gonna tell you exactly what I spent on each of the things to redo the bathroom. So many videos when people like redo and renovate, they never tell you what it costs. Well, I'm gonna tell you exactly what everything cost, where I got it, and so Reggie did all this last night. Took out the sink, our old pedestal sink, installed the new lights. The bulbs are supposed to be here today, but he's got the lights up. Now, he is getting ready to cut the baseboard. He had to buy some fancy smancy oscillating tool. You can see where he marked the baseboards. He's got to cut the baseboard out so that the vanity will fit flush back up in there. And it'll cover up all this grout stuff and the stuff on the wall. It'll all disappear. Looky here. Oh man, that's perfect. Looky here, that just fit on there. Hey, turn around, let's see your shirt. Ooh, 
we go. Oh. Whoa, why is it spitting out so much? Got it full on. Oh. It took me a minute to figure out what the X was. That thing's spitting out like that. There we go. That's better. Woo! Look at you! Alright! You know what this reminds me of? What? A hotel sink. <laughs> What's going on, Pollux? You see yourself in the mirror right here? What's Daddy doing? Oh. Well, see this is yellow? Yeah. We're getting there. He just siliconed all this stuff. We just gotta let it dry, but at least the cabinetry is in. And we're still waiting on the mirror and the light bulbs. We had to get new lights, y'all. Didn't like the bulbs. This whole light bulb thing has opened a can of worms. Have y'all ever tried to buy light bulbs? It's impossible. Now that they've like redone the light bulbs, warm to cool, there's a number, I don't know. I just get so confused. I ordered what I thought was right. We put the bulbs in and our bathroom turned blue. Apparently I ordered like too much of a cool color. So I returned the bulbs. I had to reorder like a warmer color bulb. And while I was at it, we needed new bulbs for our dining room chandelier and new bulbs for the ceiling fan that has a light on it in our bedroom. So literally, this is like opening a can of worms because once I decided, well, I've got to get new bulbs for the dining room. I hated the little shades I had on my dining room light. So while I was on Amazon, I started looking for new shades and new bulbs and it just turned into a whole thing. But let me show you what I've got now because my new shades and my new bulbs showed up today and I'm, I'm just going to change them all out. I don't know if I'm going to like them. I'm going to show it to you at the same time I'm seeing it. But let me show you what I got. So, y'all, ignore my current dining room table. I'm working on a project, which you've already seen. This is all the stuff for my chocolate dip spoons <laughs> that I'm taking to the ice cream shop tonight, in fact. Ooh, it's a mess. Right, Pollux? These shades right here are like this. They're like a linen and they fit on the bulb like that. And I'm just tired of looking at these. They've been up there for about 10 years and they're too small. Can y'all tell, look at the chandelier. Total, there's different bulbs in the chandelier. Some are cool, some are warm. Let's just swap it all out and see what we got. Better already, yay. Such a better color. They're not blue in my room. My dining room doesn't look like I'm under a fluorescent light. So these are the lamp shades I decided to go with. You can kind of see through them. Let me get this plastic off of here. And this is the one called gold. It is a faint, faint gold. I swear it almost looks silver, but it's gold. And I just don't know when I get these on there if it's going to be cheesy or if I'm going to like them. You can see the gold a little bit better in this light. And the inside of them is kind of lined with a plastic to keep them sturdy, I guess. What do you think? So much better. Now I just need to clean it. I got some spider webs on there. Oh, okay. I think I like it. So on to the bedroom. I got ceiling fan bulbs. You can see I got I got one wonky cool one and the rest are warm. I just couldn't find any, so now I'm gonna replace all those. Oh, finally, they all match, yay! I spent so much more money on light bulbs than I ever expected to. Like I said, I got on Amazon and once you get started, like one thing leads to another, to another, to another, to another. And that is what happens when you remodel anything in your home. It just is a can of worms. But the new light bulbs for our new bathroom won't be here till tomorrow. Oh well.
Oh. And I'm just going to redo that. Yeah, it's got to be way higher. I think we got to have a new screw. So we're down to the last piece of the puzzle, and it's this mirror. I'm, I found this mirror at Home Goods, and I love it. It is the exact shape and size that I want. However, I don't want a gold mirror. It just doesn't match. So I am gonna paint this black. I'm gonna do a little DIY. So there's a whole story behind the mirror. I ordered a mirror from Wayfair, which is where I bought the vanity and the faucet and the lights. I ordered the mirror. Way more money than I wanted to spend on a mirror, but I just wanted to find the mirror the correct size and be done with it. The mirror never shipped. It's still showing even right now, two weeks away before it's gonna ship. So Randy and I decided to go out because now that I, the vanity was in place, I kind of knew what I wanted for a mirror. I wanted a black mirror. We went to Home Goods, TJ Maxx. We went to Tuesday Morning. We went to Hobby Lobby. And Home Goods had the perfect mirror, this gold mirror that I'm painting. And the funny thing is you got two mirrors. They came in a two pack for $69. And so I decided to bring the mirror home. Once I realized I didn't like the gold, I decided to paint it. And I thought, you know what, if I screw it up, I got another mirror. What can go wrong, right? This is the paint that I used when I repainted our front door last year. It's black, it's perfect. And then I just got me a little teeny paintbrush. Looky there, I think two coats and this is gonna be perfect. Other than the fact that I got it on my shirt. Okay, this did not work. It got all over my mirror. Oh, but wait. That did just come right off. So coat number one is done. It took me a minute to just kind of get the hang of what I was doing, but there's coat one. I want to show y'all this sweet boy. Pollux, are you enjoying a sunny day? Huh? Why don't you go outside and play, boo? You could. This is one of his favorite spots when the doors open, the breeze, he just loves to lay here and look outside. So, hey. Look at that. I gotta do just a little bit of cleanup, but I think the two coats is gonna get it. I cannot wait to hang that up. So my bathroom is all done. Here is the final look, and I'm gonna tell you exactly where I got everything. I'm gonna tell you what I spent and the links to all of the things that you're gonna see in my bathroom, my dining room chandelier, they're all in the description box below this video. And did you know that YouTube has changed the description box? There is a little arrow right next to the title of this video. If you hit that, it opens up a big box of information and that's where all of my links and information are found. So, you ready? Here's the big reveal, my new bathroom. There it is. Look how cute this is. This new vanity came from Wayfair. I ordered it online. It was $420 and the vanity comes with all of the hardware was attached on this vanity. It is one piece and that included this countertop. The vanity came in several different colors. They had a navy blue that I really loved. I almost went with the navy blue, almost, but I'm glad I decided on the gray. This faucet also from Wayfair is a Delta faucet and it was $104. And I love that it has this kind of big overhanging spout so I have plenty of room to wash my hands and the water just is so seamless. And because the spout is so big, the water hits right here on the drain and I just love the look of it. There is a side view of it. And the mirror, which I've already told you, came from Home Goods. It was $69. I got two mirrors for $69 and I painted it black myself. The light also came from Wayfair and we bought the bulbs on Amazon. The bulbs came in a six pack and they were $29. So in total for everything new that we did to our bathroom was $806. Cause of course we did not change the toilet. I kept my toilet paper roll. I kept my 
original towel holder in here as well. And this picture was already in the bathroom, so it stayed. So I just picked up these towels actually at Home Goods, and they're kitchen towels, to be honest, but nobody's gonna know, and I wanted something with a little bit of color and decoration, so these are gonna be my new hand towels. Let me show you all the storage. I've got a drawer where I can keep all of the toilet paper, and I've got a place to put some extra hand towels, and I'm gonna find a little trash can that'll fit right there. I love these substantial handles that came on the vanity. They do have a little bit of a gold hue to them. They're kind of like a brush nickel with a little bit of gold. So $806, I don't feel is too bad for all of this. I'm loving it. So into the dining room. These are the new shades on the chandelier. I really have come to love them. And y'all look, I got out my little fall pumpkins and acorns this weekend. So the new shades in the chandelier came in a six pack, exactly what I needed for $48. And then I did go ahead and upgrade all of the bulbs to get the color bulb that I wanted. In total, the shades and the bulbs cost $61 to kind of give my chandelier a facelift but I think it looks so much better. Pollux, what do you think? Do you think it looks so much better? So I am so pleased with our bathroom upgrade. I think it turned out fantastic. It looks fresh and new, and Randy really did a fantastic job in all the renovations. And they were minor, it went quick. We did it in a weekend. Pollux is down here. But I think the $860 was money well spent on upgrading the bathroom and our dining room chandelier. So, on to the next project. I'll see you later.